Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is mirroring 3D eye machining. So we've seen in previous videos the 3D eye machining toolpath and the mirroring function. And the mirroring function can be used on all of our toolpaths. And you can see here I have a couple here. We've got the HSR toolpath, a profile toolpath, and an HSM toolpath. And I've used the mirror function to mirror all of those. As you can see here, the triangle pops up over there. There's the profile and there's the HSM. So mirror can be used on all the toolpaths. It's just that with 3D eye machining, because it's a fully recognition toolpath, it wants to see the stock that you're trying to machine. So what that means is that this 3D eye machining that I've got going on here, if I just save and calculate, synchronize and calculate this uh, mirrored 3D eye machining, it's actually mirroring the, uh, the toolpath, but it's recognizing that if the triangle's on this side, I need to remove this bit of the left side triangle, if the right side triangle is on this side. Um, so that's that's not a, a exactly what we're looking for. We want it to basically mirror uh, the, the, the exact toolpath. So let's fix that up. So first, I'm gonna actually just delete this one, the mirrored 3D eye machining. And before I go and create anything for my other side, my right side, I need to suppress these guys. The reason is, as a recognition toolpath, I don't want these toolpaths to affect the stock. I want to start from with fresh stock on the right side. So I want to make sure that these are all turned off. Next, I'm just going to do a cleanup cam part, just to make sure that that updated stock has been removed, has been cleared. So now, all that solid cam understands is I have toolpaths for the right side, and I'm starting from the original block. Now I'll right-click on the 3D eye machine, go to Mirror. And I guess this will be kind of a quick review on how the mirror toolpath works, the mirror function. Uh, if I go to new operation, so I want to put it at the end of the tree. I want it to be mirrored about this plane here, the one that I created as the mid plane of the part. And then I'm going to put it under Mac 2. So click OK. There's the toolpath. And let me just select just that individual toolpath. I'll put it in its proper location at the top of that list there. Right click, synchronize, and calculate. And we have a toolpath that does the opposite part, the mirror, the mirrored part on the other side. Uh, and it knows to do that because I've actually mirrored the toolpath, but it's still recognizing the stock. So I had to clear the updated stock and I had to uh, suppress these toolpaths so that it knows to start from a basic block and apply this toolpath. Uh, so that's pretty much all you gotta do with 3D eye machining because it's a recognition toolpath. Just Suppress those toolpaths, update the stock so that it goes back to just basically zero, and then you'll have your mirrored parts. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.